The claim that the Quran has been perfectly preserved and that the perfect preservation of the Quran is a miracle can be quite confusing to non-Muslims. We wonder whether there's any good evidence that the Quran has been perfectly preserved. We wonder how preserving a book would even qualify as a miracle. But I figured out a way to help non-Muslims understand the Muslim position. I figured out a way to make this as clear as the Quran itself. I decided to find something else that's been perfectly preserved so that we can compare this other perfectly preserved thing with the perfectly preserved Quran. By understanding why it's miraculous for this other thing to be perfectly preserved, we can finally understand the miracle of the Quran. What did I find that's been perfectly preserved just like the Quran? I found a perfectly preserved human being. I found a human being who has been perfectly preserved from the time he was born, just as the Quran has been perfectly preserved from the time it was revealed to Muhammad. You've probably never seen a perfectly preserved human being, but you will now. Here he is. His name is Yorick. Yorick has been perfectly preserved, just like the Quran. Just as the Quran has never changed since the time it was revealed, so also Yorick has never changed since the day he was born. Notice how every bone in Yorick's body has been perfectly preserved, just as every verse in Surah 33 of the Quran has been perfectly preserved, even though more than 200 verses are missing from that one chapter. Notice that none of Yorick's muscles are missing just as no chapters of the Quran are missing. Even though Muhammad's companion Abu Musa said that two chapters of the Quran were lost because Muslims were too lazy to recite them, and another two chapters were excluded because Muslims didn't realize they were supposed to be in the Quran. Notice that Yorick still has all of his internal organs, just as the Quran still has all of the passages that were lost forever when the only Muslims who had them memorized died in battle. Notice that these two perfectly preserved Yorick's are completely identical in every way, just as all Quran manuscripts are completely identical right down to the letter, even though there are tens of thousands of differences in different Arabic versions of the Quran. Now, you may still be confused. You may be wondering how Yorick can be perfectly preserved when, to you, he doesn't look like he's been perfectly preserved. But I have two responses. First, you don't know what Yorick looked like the day he was born, just as Muslims don't have a copy of the Quran from the time of Muhammad. Uthman burned all of the early copies of the Quran to cover up the differences. So we have no way of knowing how different today's Quran is from the original Quran, just as we have no way of knowing how different Yorick is from the day he was born. Second, if you don't believe that Yorick has been perfectly preserved from the day he was born, you don't understand how Islamic reasoning works. Yorick has been perfectly preserved because I say that he's been perfectly preserved, just as the Quran has been perfectly preserved because the compulsive liars we call Muslim scholars say that the Quran has been perfectly preserved. In Islam, all you have to do is say it, and saying it makes it true. Facts and evidence are completely irrelevant. Now we're finally in a position to understand the miracle of the perfect preservation of the Quran. What's the miracle? Well, think about it. Yorick has all the features of a man who died and whose body decomposed, even though he's been perfectly preserved. It's a miracle that he has all the features of a decomposed corpse when he's been perfectly preserved from the day he was born. Similarly, the Quran has all the features of a book that's been corrupted, and yet it's been perfectly preserved anyway, because the miracle of perfect preservation. If you'd like to learn more about the perfect preservation of the Quran, be sure to check out my playlist on the many ways the Quran has been changed and corrupted and the many ways Muslim scholars and apologists lie about the changes and corruption. You Muslims especially need to learn the history of your book. Unless 
like poor Yorick. You don't have the guts.